Okay. How's it going? Um, so I... Unfortunately didn't get the very beginnings of this drawing because, uh... I was supposed to download the videos from Twitch, which I thought I did. I hit download, but for some reason it didn't go through. Uh, and by the time I realized that the videos did not download, they were removed from Twitch because I guess there's like a time frame where they stay on, but... It is what it is, so this is where we're starting the video. Anyways, this is a illustr- and ugh, This is an illustration based on my time in Chiapas, Mexico in 2018. Um, the building, the background, is based off of the, uh, one of the hotels that we stayed in. Um, and I just loved that in that part of Mexico, I'm not sure if it's all of Mexico, but at least in that part of Mexico, a lot of the architecture, the buildings, even though they're just simple shops and hotels and homes and whatnot, it was just very colorful, vibrant colors. Um, I don't know, it, it's like, it, when you're an artist, you're really thinking about what colors go together and whatnot, but I feel like they just kind of, they're like, whatever, let's just throw some color on. And it's just, because of that, it, it has this really like charming vibe over there, I don't know. I, I just like the way everything looked and so I was inspired to, or at least two years later, I was inspired to make a, make a, an illustration out of it. Um, lately I've been doing more illustrations based on my travels or my adventures just because, you know, I feel like instead of drawing what I think people would want to see, I would want to draw things that I want to draw. and. Things that excite me are, are travel and adventure, and why not mix that with my passion for drawing? So that is why you're getting this illustration here. Uh, as for the characters in there, they ended up just looking like myself and my fiance, which is fine. <laughs> uh, I didn't totally mean for that to happen, but whatever, it just happened. Um, and then I just added a dog with a propeller hat because, I don't know, it's cute, whatever. Um, and yes, as for how this illustration started, uh, it started off as a 3D model. So I took a photo of the hotel, uh, which I'll pop in here. Cool. Um, and I decided, because I'm very terrible at perspective and I'm too lazy to do the perspective lines, uh, I'm too lazy to do perspective lines, but I'm not too lazy to do 3D, I guess. So I'm learning Blender at the moment, decided to pick it up and uh, utilize it for backgrounds, uh, especially like buildings, rooms, all that stuff. Anything that's not um, uh, that's not natural, I guess. So things that are man-made that require a lot of perspective knowledge. I decided to pick up 3D to make my life easier. Um, although, although it 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 is a kind of a workaround, and and you have to learn how to use Blender. I figured. Uh, it's a good tool to know, and it might help with finding a studio gig or whatever, right? So, I learned 3D a little bit. I, <laughs> I uh, the model is very terrible. Like, I don't think anyone would actually use it. But it was a basic model that I'm popping in right here on the screen, and you know, I was able to make that and utilize that into my illustration. Um, I was going to play around with the angle of the illustration a bit, but I kind of liked the original image that I took, so I wanted to kind of use that as the main inspiration, and uh, I, you know, I had some liberties and added some random stuff in there, but I think it turned out fine. I think it turned out fine. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I used my brush set, uh, or not my brush set, my my one brush that I created for some of the foliage there. I definitely feel like I should make some more foliage brushes instead of having the same one each time. I downloaded uh, I downloaded Sid Weiler, Sid Sid Wheeler, Sid Weiler. I don't know what. She was a uh, she was an Adobe. What do they call it? Adobe. Up apprentice I, I, I don't know it's the thing where they they pay him for a year to do some stuff uh, she was one of those people and she made she make mates she makes a lot of Photoshop brushes and I think this was a free set because I don't remember paying for it 
but yeah, uh, in like the bottom right corner, you kind of see uh, her uh, her brushes being used. I guess uh, I kind of like them. I, the thing with brushes now, especially with the foliage, is I like to mess around with the the brush settings. Um, that's something I never really used to do in until now, really, because I was too lazy to understand uh, how the brush settings work, but. Now I understand why a lot of artists kind of mess with the settings as they're, you know, uh, using their brushes and cool. That yeah, you should learn it too. Uh, I I can go over that if you want. Do you want me to go over that? Maybe in another video. Um, but yeah, I'll go over th how I use 3D um, terribly <laughs> in another video, and I'll go over some brush settings. Uh, if you watch my free brush video uh, that I posted. I don't know, like three videos ago. Uh, I kind of go over color dynamics and whatnot with my brush, and you can kind of get an idea of how some settings work. But I think I'll make a more in-depth video at some point. Um, but yeah, I, you know, with illustrations like this, I really struggle with foliage, uh, just plants in general. Like, I don't know how to uh, simplify them enough to make them so that they're not in the way but also still make them look like plants so i don't know if i you know uh i don't know if i if i got the effect going on here but i was working on this illustration for way too long i took a bunch of breaks uh and i don't know sometimes you just gotta move on from the illustration um and yeah i, I think the characters could use a little more work on this but I wanted to move on to the next one, as I just said, so uh, hopefully the next one I do better, and cool, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, enjoy the rest of the video, it'll just be drawing, me drawing. Uh, I do plan on doing some videos that are not art-based as well, I'm, I just decided I'm gonna make this channel like not stressful and just do things for fun, I'm gonna review some backpacks or something, whatever. Uh, I like to travel and I like to go outdoors and hike and stuff, so I figured why not add that to the things that I like to do in my YouTube videos, so I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but you'll see some stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye, have fun with whatever you're drawing, try not to stress out, uh, stay safe, wear a mask, uh, be cool, don't be an asshole and cool.